Right, people, so let's get some measurements on the way, yeah? So I'm gonna take some standard measurements, and the first thing you need to do, if it's a customer, friend, or whoever you do the suit for, or blazer, or whatever, you need to get their jacket off. Um, obviously have a shirt on or a t-shirt on, not naked. So we need to take the chest measurement, which is the first measurement we need to take, yeah? So get your tape measure. Yeah, preferably one with this on. If you don't have one with that on, it's not a big problem. Right, so go right under the underarm. Yeah, you're going on a bigger part on the back. That's where you're taking the tape measure. Okay, you can stand slightly at the side as well if you want, so you're not, not all in their face. Bring the tape measure over the biggest part of their chest, yeah? So what you're making sure is, it's going right on your underarm, and it's going across the biggest part of the chest. You see that bit there? See that round bit there? So you're going across the biggest part of the chest, and it's going across the biggest part of their back, okay? It does get a little bit of fiddly, but you might need to just readjust it lift up at the back making sure it's not dropping down yeah and the firmer you can kind of pull it across the less slack you will have for it to drop down at the back so make sure it's over his shoulder blades all right and then put two fingers behind the tape measure as well to give it a little bit of slack in there okay to allow for a little bit more room all right so biggest part of the chest and the biggest part of the back okay that's the chest measurement Okay, next measurement we're gonna take is the belly. Yeah, as I say, coat waist in tailoring terms. We're gonna take the coat waist. So, just down the chest. So now we put the tape measure down. You could just drop it down after the chest because you're gonna go around the next stage down, which is the belly, and you just do the sack the same. You put it across the, maybe the narrowest part of the back, which is the waist, yeah? And then, biggest part of the belly around here okay and same thing with the chest measurement put two fingers behind as well like like that yeah okay give it some slack in there all right and that's that that's the waist all right next up after we've done the chest the belly measurement we're going to do the hip measurement okay so drop the tape measure down so again it's in stages we've done the chest we've done the uh, waist and now we're dropping it down to the hip yeah, put the tape measure on the hip as well, biggest part of the booty, and uh, bring it round and put two fingers round again. Yeah, just to make sure you've got some slack in there. So that's the hip. So that's where you'll take your hip measurement for your trousers as well, right? So just put a bit of slack in there and take that measurement, okay? All right, there we go. So first back measurement we're gonna start take, yeah? We're gonna do this in a set of threes, okay? So we're taking from, they call it nape, yeah? The top, right underneath the collar. Okay, right at the back, the neck point, yeah, the spine, all the way down to the deepest part of the back, yeah. You can feel it where it starts to dip in, yeah. And if you put your thumb in there, it's where you took the belly measurement right at the back, yeah, of that where that tape measure came round. That should be the deepest part of where the back is, yeah. Take that measurement there. You can even put your thumb there, and if you push forward, he should be able to just lean forward because that's where his, you know, central gravity is in the middle of his waist. So you should be able to just push it and he should be leaning forward. Whereas if you do slightly above that, he, he may just topple top like that. So if you're right dead in the center of the, the waist, he should actually just want to lean forward when you press on there, yeah? So always try and guess that bit there. Or you can just put your, your, your hand like this, yeah? guide it down until you feel where his waist is as well. You can also do that, yeah? And then you've got the tape measure here where you feel that point is, and then you've got your finger on the tape measure, so you can also take that measurement there, yeah? So we're taking the top here, the nape to waist, yeah? And then you write that down, and then you do from the, the waist to the full length, okay? So you're gonna take the full length of how long he wants his coat, basically. And um, if you are not able to tell from the shirt how long he wants, obviously, or whatever garment, because he ain't gonna have the jacket on. So if you can't tell from him not having the jacket on how long he wants the, the suit jacket, then just get him to put a suit jacket on and you can take the measurement from that. Everybody has their own idea of how long the jacket should be. It's all personal taste. Some people do, you know, half the body measurement plus an inch. 
some people just do half the body measurement from obviously the neck down um, for the jacket length from it reaches the bottom so you could always do it that way and um, there's so many different various but it's down to personal preference but if you want to go for a, a standard cut style and how long the jacket should be it should be half the body measurement and then you add an inch on the length okay next one we are going to do the cross back okay so to do the cross back what you need to do again get the tape measure right and you're going to put it across the biggest part of the back that is there not across there i'm going to put it across the biggest part of the back so you kind of got to arch it over the back you never know you might have someone that's got a really hunched back so you want to be able to take the biggest part of that so where i'm putting a tape measure if you search for the bone on on here on your shoulder that's where you're going to put the tape measure okay if you can't find the bone where it is all you need to do is look for the roundest part yeah and where it just starts to curve over just take the measurement from there yeah because that's where your sleeve's going to stop and you just go all the way across to the other side and take that measurement there as well okay so now we've done the cross back full cross back measurement now we're going to go in and do the underarm measurement okay so you get your tape measure put it around the customer's neck and you're going under his arm to grab the tape measure again here yeah lift it up so it's really snug underneath the arm hole. not too tight just snug yeah because you want to just get it right underneath the armhole right there yeah and then you bring it up across the back okay if you look at that across the back so it goes straight across and as you can see it's right under his arm and straight across there yeah get a pin you put that in center of the back there okay you need that as a guide and then you get your tape measure you measure down from the nape from the top and the collar yeah measure all the way down to that pin whatever that measurement is that's the depth of your armhole okay so next up we've done the armhole measurement now we're going back round to the front on the shoulder we're going to do the shoulder line and then we're going to do full sleeve length okay so the part from where you can gauge where to do from the shoulder line right if you look at my neck where it goes to the waistcoat there yeah see where it comes off the shirt and just as it goes down the waistcoat starts there so basically that's where i'm going to take my measurement from and i'm going to go all the way down the shoulder line to the bone of my shoulder yeah or you can just use a guide as where it starts to go off and go rounded yeah just before it goes rounded just stop there okay so obviously the neck doesn't go straight down and straight across if you don't have a waistcoat it doesn't matter just look at where it starts to go curved before it goes on a straight and that's where you want to start taking the measurement from okay so this is what we're going to do i've got my tape measure with the thick bit on it it's a bit of metal put it right to the neck where it starts to curve in and go down and then i'm going to measure right to the bone on the shoulder if you don't feel no bone don't worry just look at the front of it and see where you can look from the back doesn't matter where you can see it start to drop down okay and just take the measurement from there right i've got six on mine here sometimes you get like between five and a half to six and a quarter depends on the size of the guy you know so from that measurement now i'm remembering six inches to that shoulder width there i'm going to measure straight down to the full length of his sleeve so depending on where you want your cuff to stop um some people like to show shirt cuff but as a standard measurement for now we can work that out in a fitting how short you have it and how much cuff you want showing your shirt but take the measurement and you're aiming for that bit there yeah where it starts to curve and then obviously the hand starts right there just make it that length because you're always going to leave inlay anyway in your cuff so you can always lay it down if you want it longer or whatever but as a guide just measure to that bit there where it starts to dip and go out all right so you've taken your shoulder you've taken your full length for your sleeve okay and you take down both these measurements you write that down yeah and then you want to take another independent measurement of just your crown to sleeve okay now this is why i like to use this bit because it stays firm on the top yeah measurement get a ruler put your ruler on the shoulder line yeah and then what you do you measure your you put your 
measurement of your sleeve crown right on the edge of that ruler, okay? And then you measure down the full length of the cuff, okay? And the full length of the cuff, you measure to that point there, okay? Just where it dips in, just measure to that point there. So next up, if after you've taken the chest, belly, waist, hip measurement, all that, just ask the customer to put on his jacket, yeah? This is where you'll put on his jacket and it could be his best fitted jacket that he's had made before or whatever. Just get him to put it on and this is where you start to take the back measurement off the jacket. So you go back up to that top of the back neck, yeah? Then you'll take the waist of that half waist and then you'll take the full length based off the length of the jacket that he's got on. And then ask him while he's looking at the front in the mirror to say, oh, do you want your jacket a bit longer than it already is? Or do you want it a little bit shorter where it is? And he can gauge it off actual jacket that he's wearing that he likes the, the length of anyway. So that's easy gauge to take measurements off a jacket that really fits the customer off like that, yeah? And then also what you can do, you can take the cross back measurement, yeah? From the center seam. And you take that measurement all the way to the back seam of the sleeve as well there, yeah? You take that measurement there. You've got that measurement, then you don't need to do that one going across there like that. You just then do the shoulder from the under collar point there to the ends of the sleeve here. It's an easier guy than trying to look for the, the shoulder bone, all right? And then once you take that measurement, and then you can take the crown to cuff as well from where to cuff it. So it's just a more um, closer measurement with a jacket that he really fits in well to take off, you know, measurements off that. And then when you're taking the half waist measurement, what you do also, you get the tape measure, yeah? Put it on the center back seam, all right? You put the tape measure underneath. Like I say, if you wanna feel for where the waist is, just have your arm like that and you can feel for the narrowest part of the waist. Put a tape measure on there, center back seam. Bring the tape measure around the front. You can bring this around, you can see, yeah? And then put a little bit of slack in there, yeah? And then measure it to the edge, okay? And when I mean slack, I mean, you wanna make sure the coat is fully extended all the way through, yeah? Otherwise you'll have to take it off and then put it on the board and then measure it flat. But this is an easy way to just leg it and keep your jacket on. Just measure it from the waist there, all the way around to the edge, okay? And you can either do it to the edge or also, put a pin, do that to the waist. Like, oh, is that feel like it's enough room for you, sir? Yeah, if it feels like it's roomy enough, or if, if he needs a little bit more room around the waist, just do that, yeah, so you can gauge the fullness around inside, yeah? If he says, yeah, that's enough, then you just put a pin right in that mark there, yeah? Where he says that's enough room around the waist there, yeah? And then you take that same measurement, from the center back, okay? You go all the way around to the front to where that pin is, okay? Take the measurement to where that pin is and that's your half waist measurement also, yeah? And then when you're doing your pattern, you have to remember to add on your extra for your wrap over.